Hello, dear Scorpio. Welcome to Just Bird Tarot. Um, this is an October love based reading. So let's see what's coming up for you. Just doing an energy check, see what the vibe is surrounding love for you during the month of October. Um, please consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy free personal questions, come on out to a live stream. I go live regularly almost daily answering personal questions for free during the first hour okay after that it's all donation based questions no set limit on donations whatever one can afford okay so that's what i do here on this channel as well as celebrity readings if you have a celebrity reading in mind you can drop that in the comment section below as well but what i do ask is that you let me know what questions you would like answered all right this is for the sign of scorpio let's do an energy check on you and love if there is a love relationship or what may be coming in for you so let's see what is the energy of love for the sign of scorpio heartbroken so, so in separation so that's that's the energy surrounding um love for you during the month of october heartbroken separation hurt feelings so since there's separation on the board i'm going to pull the energy of uh, the person that you are thinking about and your energy and we'll get into that style of reading so let's see their energy is the nine of water so i would say that they are you know they feel very emotional over uh, a breakup or a separation or hurt feelings they still have a lot of love there so this feels kind of fresh your energy is like pff, can't get them out of my head i'm a little bit locked and loaded and i need freedom that's what i need right now i just need a little bit of freedom spread my wings and fly uh, let's see what is the difficulty the challenge here of this relationship coming together you're still like their hope and their dream with that nine of water there um the challenge is coming together is an opportunity a stable foundation it's the ace of earth and somebody coming forward and somebody the person with the hurt feelings here that's very uh, you know emotional still is it really hoping that this offer will come in so let's see what is the advice for this to come together what is the advice <laughs> happiness to expand and grow your mind your your notions um you know just kind of like it, really expanding the way that we feel um, concerning the relationship as a whole so having having a little bit different of a mindset and feeling but this is the card of healing so it's time to heal something which is that broken heart you got to heal the broken heart and and the separation right got to bring come together in order to heal a separation so let's see we have the four of water is like the potential outcome of the relationship is not coming together in october with that four of water it's like somebody needs a time out and it seems like it's whoever's over here i say this side is you just for the sake of the reading but this guy side could be you as well so let's see potential outcome of this relationship is the four of water well let's just see what would they like to say to you what it, what is the message from them to you because we have like somebody's just like withdrawn and not really it, october is at the time to sever to sever the breakup right to bring it back together we have the ace of fire they still find you very desirable they'd like to come forward they have a lot of passion for you they still think you look good they have an offer here um, for you they'd like to get together and work on this they'd like to reconcile with this judgment card and they feel like this is uh, that you are their person like up here it's wish fulfillment very dreamy romantical right this person feels like the other person is the one for them and they would like to reconcile the differences uh, between the two of you 
person on this side of the board is locked and loaded. It's the eight of air energy. So it's like obsessive thinking, can't get you out of my head, can't get you out of my mind. He, and, you know, but they're hibernating as well. As a, I feel like this person is so withdrawn and pulled away, just sort of in their feelings right now. Not too deep in their th feelings. They're more in their mindset, like the overthinking, but withdrawn um, with the four of water being the outcome here. So let's see. What uh, does this deck have to offer for the sign of Scorpio during the month of October? Just a healing needs to happen, you know, whatever it is for, for this to work out. Um, seasoned love. This kind of love has endured the ups and downs that come with life. With this person, you know that you can get through anything. Well, something needs to be healed so that th this couple can get back to everything, right? Need to come back together. Could just be some hurt feelings and somebody's withdrawing during the month of October, you know, where somebody's just a little bit distant and because their feelings are hurt. We have happily ever after. It's nothing like finally having the happy, ep happily ever after you deserve it to true fairy tales it is here right here and it came up in the reverse so i in order to have that something needs to be healed with the uh sun card there okay and then we have vacation and travel it's time for a trip pack your bags and get ready for a nice voyage de-stress de-stress and enjoy this time away it is necessary all right so that's what the advice is here like get away um, and just kind of enjoy yourself so that you could do a little bit of healing and get back to this seasoned kind of love one that can stand the test of time as it talks about ups and downs this too these hurt feelings separation whatever the case may be is also just an up and a down so you're down for now but he Heal it by pulling away and, you know, retreating and going on a little vacation, maybe together, but, you know, uh, also it, it's time to get away just for yourself, right? So that you can turn this happily ever after in the upright position. Remember, they do want to reconcile. They do feel like this is like you're a soulmate energy, that this is something that can be reconciled. They feel like this is their true calling, that the relationship is a part of their purpose, and they want to come in and work on it and offer you, you know, a little bit of love, passion, fire, desire, but ultimately they would like to work on this. All right. So, let me just pull a couple of more. I'll make this very short and sweet for the sign of Scorpio during the month of October. Let's just see what's coming up. October, how's it going to play out? Love, love, love. Love, 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 October. Eight of spades. That's that um, eight of air energy where somebody's just can't get the other person out of their mind. They're sitting, they're waiting, they're isolated, and they have a tissue in their hand. Okay, so that's that energy of isolation, um, being stuck in the mind. So it's time to do a little bit of writing about it while you are waiting with the three of clubs. Just write yourself into the solution. All right, out of the problem into the solution. Don't stay hold up too long and just in tears. Write your, write your way out of it. Journal it. Um, you could write down your resentments and your fears, right? And then tear it up, okay? So write down what angers you. Write down what hurts you. And bring it back to, you know, what am I afraid of? And then get it out. Be completely honest with yourself. Rip it up so nobody <clears throat> comes across your paper and reads it, right? You could, but you could be just like writing music, writing songs, writing poetry. Uh, and maybe that is a way for you to release some of this emotion that is really the overthinking here, right? Let's see, we'll pull one more, Ace of Cups. There we go. It's all about self-love and healing, as well as love opportunity coming back around for you, dear Scorpio. Please do consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Come on out for live readings.